Well, it's another beautiful, gorgeous day on the homestead. We've got a lot of stuff to catch you guys up on. We've got a lot of new things, like right back there. I bought some more rabbit hedges. Yes, so. they're really, really cool. But we're gonna wait to show you that in another video. And we've had a ton, and I mean a ton of rain, and we've had a lot of flooding. The barn got flooded again, so we need to clean that out. We got some updates on our turkeys. We need to get them, we need to figure out another pen or something for them. So anyway, we're gonna save all of that stuff for some upcoming videos, because today we got something else to do. What, what is the other thing we have to do? We bought some nematodes for the garden, and I want to put them on the garden, and I figured um, we'd show you what how, what they're like, in case you're interested. I've never done this before. I'm kind of scared to open them up, actually, because it said that there was some, like, live creatures in there. But, um... If you guys have any information on it, be sure to leave a comment, too. Yeah. On it. Well, actually, you probably can't leave a comment on our um, below, but you sorry. could go to our vlog or... Facebook and leave a comment let us know some information on it but anyway um, that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna get them put on the garden because we ended up having more grubs this spring and it was awful it wasn't quite as bad as last fall I don't know if you remember that but I'll post that video right up here if you'd like to take a look at that but we had an infestation of them okay so this is the package that they arrived in it says the ice pack may be melted and the package may be warm, but it's okay. And it says to refrigerate unopened until ready to apply. So I did put them in the refrigerator, but we've only had them a couple of hours. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open them and see what we have. The package is kind of like squishy and so I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. I really hope that's just ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, hope it's melted ice pack because I don't know. <laughs> Hard to open. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. Let's see, we got the... However you say that word. Yeah, right I, should, I should be able to say that word after <laughs> practicing all those medical terms. Heterohabditis? Bacteriophora. Hetero... Habditis bacteriophoria. So whatever it is. But anyway, um, these are the, basically they call them the HB ones. The Nemesic actively seeks out larval pests and is most effective against pests such as queen ants, asparagus beetles, bagworms, banana moths, banana weevils, berry root weevils, bill bugs, boars, carrot weevils, fleas and grubs and more. So anyway, there is different ones, of different kinds of these that you can buy and they take care of different pests and you can get like a, a three pack, which is what I really wanted to get that takes care of a large variety of them. But I just went with a smaller pack because it was a little cheaper and it's kind of like taking care of the exact thing that I need right now and that's the grubs. <laughs> okay, it says water the area you will be covering first, which I don't think we need to water because we've had like over five inches of rain. So I thought this would be the perfect time to apply it. Like that's what they look like. Mm. What these things are, are like small, single-celled worms, I think, or something like that anyway. And they um, bur burrow down into the ground and then they seek out the hosts, like grubs and other larvae. And then they bore into them and then they reproduce. And that's what um, controls the grubs. So, I guess we'll see how this goes. So basically what you have to do is you have to figure out how to divide this so that way it's evenly distributed all over the garden. And since I'm going to use this sprayer right here, I've been thinking that if I would add all of them to it and then start spraying the garden, I would probably run out of it before I got from one end to the other. So what I need to do is um, put in so much and then spray it and then so much more. Oh my gosh, they stink. 
good. They don't really stink. They just have a weird smell. <laughs> okay, they're kind of just all stuck to the bottom there, so I'm going to kind of like loosen them up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take about maybe a third of this. Okay, probably about that much of it. Are the the nematodes like like dehydrated? Or? No, I don't think so. I think they're alive and well. Okay. <laughs> I guess it does say alive. So. Yeah. I guess it would be cool to get some of them and look at them under a microscope and see if we can see them move around. Yeah. How how would we get a microscope though? We have one in the shed. We do? Yeah. They're supposed to mix them up really well. Doesn't wouldn't that make them dizzy? <laughs> yeah, it could make them dizzy. <laughs> um, I also wanted to mention it did say in the instructions that you're supposed to do it early morning or at, at dusk. And it's probably just because of the heat and everything, but since it's kind of like an overcast, really cool day, I figured it's really not going to hurt to go ahead and apply them this afternoon. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was running into Miley or something. Okay, so once you get them all spread, then the next thing you need to do is lightly water them in. Okay, so time to mix up some more. You can keep these things mixed up for like a couple of hours, but um, after that they will drown. Basically you just need to make sure that you don't mix up too much of it because um, you do have to go ahead and and use whatever you mix up. I'm gonna be sure I get this treated nice and thick in here too and get it covered really well. So we've still got grubs coming up in here. Well, we got them all dispersed and Miley finished watering them in. And so I guess we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Hopefully later on this fall we won't have near as many grubs. But I guess it's one of those things you won't ever know whether it's, it works until later on. So anyway, in a couple of weeks we might get some more. Because they say it's a good idea to put them on and then wait a couple of weeks and put some more. So that way you have them in different stages. 